Oh my god, there's someone right there. Two of them. Wow, that guy was right on target. Did you see that? He went down, though. Got him, too. Not bad. Oh! Hello, everybody. It's me, PMC Starbucks, and welcome back to the SPT Show. As you can see... Oh my gosh! I've spawned onto the woods map in version 3.9.3 after having completed my mod list yesterday. And I've got a link to it posted. It's a, uh, a dynamic Notion page that I've built and will change every time I update it. It's got all the mods that I use and an increasing number of configurations that I'm using for those mods as well. And I encourage you to go take a look at it to see what I'm doing and if you'd like to try it as well. Um, I even included a compatibility uh, like checklist for installing those mods in an order that won't break the game, at least uh, one that didn't break the game for me. I did have some troubles at first, and I did actually find out that most of those troubles were actually linked, unfortunately, to the Meow Shader mod. And right now, the Meow Shader mod is so incompatible with 393 that it prevents the launcher from, like, actually starting for me. And I wasn't able to run the game with it installed. So I'm not using Meow Shader right now, only Amon's. As you can see, let's see here, uh, insert, I can toggle it. The configuration is much lighter than what I'm used to. Much less sharpness and contrast, and, uh, well, you know, you've seen my, my videos. Oh my gosh! Ugh, I still didn't see him, but he hit me in the armor. And I didn't take much damage, that's good. Um, as you can probably guess, I have the Realism mod running, and I'll flash a bunch of the mods that I have installed on the screen right now that uh, influence the gameplay as much as they do. I think I saw his position, but I'm not perfectly certain. Uh, the Tremors and the Tunnel Vision is because of the Adrenaline effect in the Realism mod. Whenever- Wow, I just saw him! Did you see that? Uh, he's got cover behind the, uh, one of these log stands. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a shot. This is inadvisable, especially with tremors. I, I can't even hold it straight. See, this is a problem. If he can see me through foliage, which it's not too likely because Sane is preventing bots from me being able to see through foliage perfectly, uh, he can get a shot on me. Well, this isn't the greatest position, but I wanted to come to the woods map because one of the greatest changes to uh, the uh, this version of SPT and this version of Tarkov and the, the most recent update is that the BTR was added to this map. And um, we may actually see it rumbling down this direction. It circles the main route, like the main road through the center of the map and off to the west. Maybe off to the east? Can't quite remember. But I wanted to see if I could find it and hire that guy for his services for this video to demonstrate. Um, I actually want to see if and uh, when it will attack bots if I should hire it to uh, give me, you know, protection while I travel. So that's what we're going to do. And of course I'm just being careful right now because that guy was trying super hard to kill me just now. I had only just spawned into this map and there was already so much action and activity nearby. I needed only to come across the top of this rock. Or, wait, do you hear that? He's approaching my position. I can hear him stepping in the grass. Let's adjust my optic, and then... ever so carefully... He's right down there. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Just die already! Wow. That was pretty extreme. Let's go ahead and, um, stop the bleed on my stomach if I can, hopefully in time. I had to drop all my equipment for the realism mod to do that. And do this. Let's just keep, keep working on bleeds. Oh, lost my right arm, lost my right leg. Maybe I can stop the bleeding in time. I'm <laughs> just standing around out here in an attempt to do that. One more time. Looking a little bit better, looking a little bit better. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll just, just barely be able to stabilize myself. So that I can get out of here. Well, that was a decent little demonstration, wasn't it? What an exciting intro. It's definitely possible. Uh, let's see here. What's on six? Oh, that. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, yeah, actually it is restoring a little bit. How about some Propital? That should help to recover HP, right? 
I'm gonna be dealing with an abundance of uh, medical effects at this moment. Uh, take the back panel, not the best order, because obviously I should be wearing the, the vest so that I can wear the back panel, but it's okay. Get my gear back on. And... HP is steadily recovering. Wow-wee, I was able to unblack and completely recover those limbs. So you see that it is indeed possible, you just need... <laughs> You need uh, the medicine to be able to do that. And uh, I've got one Propital injector left. Let's set these hotkeys up. Let's see, what did I have this on? This was probably five. That was probably seven. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, it's not great. It's not great. It definitely took a lot to be able to do that. It wasn't the safest engagement. I could have done that much better, trust me. Wanted to see if maybe I could just come up on the rock, look over the top, and uh, hit him from up there. But it didn't work out so well. My heavy scar. Uh, where's that guy's body? Oh god, the, um, the painkiller effect. Tunnel vision. Tremors. As you can see, the durations, because of the medications that I used, are visible here. Health will continue to regenerate for some time. But I'll have those side effects as well. There he is. I feel safe because of the engagement. I mean, like, three or four guys in one place. That's a lot of bots to fell. So I guess I'll take a second and check his gear. Antonio. Hmm, nothing. The armor? Not too bad. Oh, wow. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, I guess, since I'm still alive... I'll move out a little bit into the woods map and just see what happens. I, I still want to try to find the BTR. And I mean, I did a lot of damage over here, so I may as well take a look around. Uh, I did change up my um, level of detail and distance loading st uh, settings for graphics, so things in the distance don't look as good. At least to me, there's like a lot of shadow flickering and textures trying to catch up. But um, it's it's been best for my performance so far. Uh, as you can see, things are going pretty smooth, uh, even while recording using a uh, G-Force, you know, it's not hurting my performance too badly, and things are going pretty smoothly still, so I may as well keep it this way. Trust me, I, I would like to have some better graphics, and I very much missed Meow Shader already, hopefully it'll come back sometime pretty soon. There are actually a group of mods, a small list that I'm still waiting on. And uh, those are actually Ragdoll, the Ragdoll mod, especially big time modular attachments. I really miss that. Obviously, Meow Shader and uh, RGB lasers as well. I really liked being able to have a, a bright yellow orange laser. That was super nice. Oh, and also the simple crosshair mod has not been updated yet, to my knowledge. And I was going to make use of that for a recoil demonstration. So uh, I may go back and do that in 3 3, depending. I know a lot of users are still on 3 3. Let me know in the comments below which version you're still playing, and if there's anything holding you back from updating the 3.9.3. Or I suppose any of the 3.9 versions, but 3.9.3 is the current one, and I just got a comment, actually earlier today, saying that version 3.9.4 was about to release as a hotfix, so keep that in mind. So one thing I noticed is that um, now, with the realism mod for the high ready uh, tactical sprint, it's no longer possible if a weapon is too long or too heavy, I think. And as you can see here, I've got the uh, doing the high ready stance that I haven't modified yet, and if I sprint, he doesn't raise the rifle. Ah, see that? See the fade on those objects? They're dithering in the distance. Now, uh, one of our friends in the Club Starbox Discord server recently did a great study on the effects of low distance and uh, level of detail, which is very useful, and I was super appreciative of. It demonstrates uh, each of the setting levels and what it looks like in-game, and we're going to be putting it on our little website that we're working on as well for future reference. You know what's kind of funny, one of the things that drew me to Tarkov years ago was the incredible fidelity of graphics that are available in the game. Um, but now all I can see sometimes is the, uh, the juxtaposition of those graphics, um, where like, like character models and, and, and weapons and equipment are so high resolution, but the environment 
can often not be so high resolution, and there's like a lot of weird artifacts and inconsistencies, and I don't necessarily think that that would get any better if I were to increase my game resolution to say even 4K or anything like that. I'm sure it would look great. But these things here just probably don't get fixed by a, a simple increase in resolution. My boss notifier said that Sturman was in the area. I Wow. That wasn't Sturman. That was a guy. Is he alone? Am I alone? Also, what do you think about the new season? Uh, let's see here. We're in... What is this? Is this summer? Uh, I noticed that the... The changes to sound effects... Um, keep catching my attention. I'm like, what? Was that a bird? Was that like a screeching? What was that? There's like different noises for activity in the distance, which I like. I should reload. What? What? Oh no! This isn't great! Return fire! Oh, I got him. Where did he come from? Listen, everyone, I'm in danger out here. And to make myself feel better, I'm going to speak. I came to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Yeah, that was me, that's right. I'm using- ah! Oh my god, it's time to go. Oh my god, it's time to go. That sounds like war activity. I do not have a squad. The BTR is not yet on my side. I don't have any Overwatch or fire support. What was that? That's a guy. Oh shoot, I'm bleeding. Why am I bleeding? Did I take some small shrapnel or maybe even a hit while I was trading fire earlier? And did that guy go down? Hold on a second. Hold on, just a second. Ah, there's a, a bleed on my left leg. I don't like this. This is not great. I'm just out in the woods. And um, so far, plenty of activity and action. Actually, more than I anticipated. Let's take a look at why. Very quickly, I'm going to lay down. And um, as you may know, the Sane menu <laughs> exists. It's totally a thing. Uh, several updates ago, it got this big fancy GUI. As you can see, I've got the bots on default right now. I haven't done any modifying to their stats just yet because I wanted to see what happened. But also, the Donuts mod has now got its own GUI as well, and that's on the F9 key. And you can see that all of the settings that were in the Bepinex menu are now here in this menu, and they've got a Save All Changes button down there, which is neat. So, let's see here. The scenario for PMCs that I've got right now is starting PMCs only, more scavs. So, there should be more scavs. And PMC PMCs <laughs> will only spawn in at the beginning of a raid, so... Oops, sorry, I thought I heard... I thought I heard steps, but nope, it's just me being afraid because it's scary out here. And I don't necessarily feel safe moving down these lanes. Because there's still a shooter off in that direction somewhere. And there was activity also in that direction. But I know that the lumberyard is over there. So it could well have been fighting at the lumberyard, those grenades weren't even in my area, per se. And I no longer see anything here. It may be safest to go this way, towards the lumber yard, put myself oblique to the action, and find cover. Because out there, it's wide open. If I attempt to flank the shooter, he may be ready for me. Already watching these angles. <sighs> I think it's best that I go to the lumber yard, provided that no one's hiding over here to try and take me out, of course. I'm gonna check my health real quick. Okay, I'm doing okay. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Despite 
the harshness of realism mod. With an abundance of medication, I was able to completely recover from my injuries. So that's really cool. Now, uh, <laughs> toxicity and radiation is a different bag altogether. And I'm sure I'll encounter some of that while I'm out here, but... It's not super likely. I don't know of many sites on the woods map that are radioactive. And there are probably very few areas of toxic clouds as well. Oof. My stamina. How's... Oh no, my energy is all the way at the bottom. I was not paying attention. Let's eat a ration pack. Because I'm about to start losing health. Oh, what do you know? It's the BTR. The BTR has showed up. Alright, let me drink some water here. <laughs> and he stopped right there. Nice. Oh, how interesting. I could have just stayed over there in cover and he would have rumbled right up to my position. Okay, let's go check it out. <clears throat> Obviously, I've only ever encountered this guy on the streets map. So let's come over here. Uh, to this side? Yeah. Enter the BTR. Yeah, talk to the driver. Alright, so what can you do? Yeah, definitely give me some covering fire. 74,000? Oh my god. Alright. Now, uh, give me a ride. Whoa, we're taking fire. Go to, I suppose, um, the old sawmill. 12,650, holy crap. My wallet is full of rubles, so I should be able to afford this. And here we go. I could use the stash, but uh, I don't have a need for it right now. Ah, <sighs> well, this is cool. Uh, super interesting. Um, someone fired on the BTR while I was inside of it, and it doesn't sound like it fired back, I don't think. So that may be a thing. Also, can I use the free cam? while I'm in here, if I... Oh! I can, but it's all weird. What do you know? My cursor's still on the screen, and the text bubble is also still on the screen. But there we are. Just rumbling around. If I use my... Nope, I'm, I'm not able to hide the UI, unfortunately. Just that part. Oh, cool. Oh, check it out! Might get to see some action. It's sighting on somebody. No? No firing? Alright. Well, here we go. And also, man, the performance. Doing pretty good, I gotta say. Doing pretty good. I really anticipated that using the BTR would uh, tank my performance, but uh, we're doing, doing okay. I lament the graphics. Um... Lacking the low distance and level of detail. And also lacking Meow Shader. But obviously, you know, performance is king. If I can get the game playing well, then I can enjoy it even more. This is so cool. This is not something I ever saw coming to Tarkov, but, uh, I don't know. I'm enjoying it somehow. I would have enjoyed it a little bit more if he, uh, if the driver of this BTR had started blasting the lumber camp. That would have been kind of cool. Just rumbling around. What do you guys think of the BTR? Do you make use of it? Do you think it's more useful in, in PvP than it is in PvE or SPT even? There's sort of a novelty to it, isn't there? Just sort of feels like a, a bit of an absurdity. No more encounters. I did request covering fire, but there hasn't really been a need for it, I guess. I tried to pick a, a location that would require a lot of travel, you know, so that we'd cover some significant distance here on the map. And as you can see, the BTR does a lot of traveling. Uh, I 
end conversation. Let's exit the BTR. Alright. Well, that was fun and safe. Took a little fire, but obviously I didn't take any damage, and uh, the BTR didn't seem to care at all. Now, is it safe over here where I've chosen to be dropped off? Seems like it is so far. I'll do a little more running around and investigating before moving on to the Ground Zero map. And then we'll do one more raid after that, and uh, I can't decide if that raid will be on the Customs map or Shoreline, because uh, obviously Shoreline is a little bit more demanding and could be a little bit more uh, worth the demonstration, I suppose. But Customs is the map that everyone plays, and it could be important to demonstrate it as well. I would say that it actually enjoyed the fewer changes, so we'll probably be going to Shoreline. And I'm not picking up any activity here, so it may be time to move along. Huh. Oh, it's not stopping, it's just reversing. It's about to go back the way it came. Goodbye. Hmm. BT. Was BT a prefix for a uh, Star Wars droid? It was, wasn't it? I could swear I've heard someone say BT something. Maybe that's one of the newer Star Wars, I'm not sure. Nothing so far. I, I heard something. There was some, like, small gunfire in this direction. Little pops. And I'm still getting a little tripped up by the new sound effects as well, those environmental sounds. I'm like, what? What's that? Is that new? Is that a thing? Is there a guy, like a scav out there with a, a bird call trying to distract me or lure me into a place? Actually, I would say that bird watching would be one of the more dangerous hobbies to commit to in Tarkov because it involves a lot of looking where hostiles won't be. That was kind of funny. There's even some more activity over there. Let's go back and around. <laughs> Just give me a shot. And I'll solve all the problems. Oh! Did you see that? He peeked out. And I punished him. I'm gonna... Oh, I tried to shoot his hand. I tried to shoot his elbow. Got him that time. There we go. Wow, can you imagine being shot in the arm so hard and so bad that you just lose your life? I can't. I'm invincible. What did he have? <laughs> he had the Mosin infantry rifle, but anything else. I do like that he had the, sh the sawn off, but like, god, it's so damaged. These... His gear is so damaged. That's kind of cool, though. Huh. Any provisions that I might be able to take? Hmm, checkpoint key. Uh, just some salary. It can be toxic, as you can see there. The whole food poisoning thing in uh, SPT Realism Mod is very much a danger. Do I actually, um... I do, I have the antidote injector. So if I was to get food poisoning, I'd be able to heal myself. Now, where was the rest of that gunfire? I think it was off in that direction, actually. I'm feeling a little wary because these bots are behaving a bit differently than I'm, uh, I'm expecting them to, I guess. I've been seeing a lot of talk online about how different um, the, the sane bots are now after the update. And believe you me, I plan to demonstrate exactly how different they are. We're gonna set up some raids very soon with a ton of AI to just get them interacting and moving around and see how they behave. Don't forget, you can use things like, uh, dynamic maps 
and the raid review mod to carefully study your bots if you think they're doing weird things. Check out their behaviors, check out their spawns, fix any issues that may come up. Oh wow, no one here, really. I always have bad luck in this general area. Someone always gets the drop on me, or is always waiting. Uh, what's that sound? Is that the sound of a light rain happening? I don't see anything. There's no one here. Oh my- Oh man, okay. <sighs> that is a mod. That is, I can't remember exactly what it's called, it's the Headshot Blackout mod, I think it's called. <sighs> if you are killed with a shot to the head, head eyes, whatever, the screen and sound will instantly go dark and quiet, as if uh, I was actually just shot in that way. Oh man, it still startles me a lot. That's so crazy. Okay, that was the woods map. I was able to demonstrate quite a bit, actually. Got to see the BTR and everything. So next up, we're going to go to the uh, Ground Zero map uh, as soon as my heart rate goes down just a little bit. So I'm going to relax, and then uh, you'll see me in just a moment. Okay, here we are on the Ground Zero map. This should be very interesting. My performance is always pretty bad here, just like in Streets. So we'll see with all these new adjustments and updates how my performance does now. Uh... So first we're going to have a wave of PMCs spawning in because it's the beginning. And I imagine that will cause some hitching. This time I have a modified M4. This is one of my favorite configurations. Using tactical gear component mo mods for the weapon. Sorry, I keep like semi-interrupting my own speech to listen. And it's also really hard to hear myself over the game audio through my headphones. Let's just try to get up safely. And then uh, we'll go from there. So far, not so bad. Um, performance doesn't seem bad. Performance seems okay. Which is new and amazing to me. Wow, it's actually kind of cozy under there. Nice. I mean, you know, homeless aesthetic, but... As a place in a Tarkov map, it looks cozy. Oh, see? There's someone, like, right up there. Man, doesn't this feel a lot like Battlefield 4? Sheesh. I sure did have a lot of fun with that game. Mindful auto, good. Alright. As the activity increases, my performance may go down. Sounds like he's staying close to attack me. There are people all around. I'm gonna have to manage my space and everything pretty well, but... Oh, wow, there's already been... Oh, wait, no, these are... These guys are just part of the map. Okay. Where'd that fella go that I heard walking around over here? Oh, he's just right there. Great. I'm so glad. I'll, oh, God. He freaking blacked my stomach. Oh, God. I'm not gonna make it. I'm definitely not gonna make it. Wow. And he really means to kill me, too. Alright. Take me out. We'll reload and try another time, because I... I'm sure it's logical. He can, like, fire at me through this this foliage here because he knows that I'm over there where I am, but, uh... Yep. Sorry, pal, I gotcha. But, uh, I am definitely not gonna make it out of this one. And this is no way to experience the map. Wow, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure if that guy's firing at me or not, but he's over there. Oh, I see him. Oh, God, it's... It's bad. My my body condition and, and health are very bad right now. Can he... Oh! Okay, let's try again. Maybe a slightly different approach. 
<laughs> I mean, of course, it's obviously very different because I spawned in a different place. Performance is not so great right away. Oh, this place is kind of cool on the inside. Am I still full up? Oh, nope. I need to charge. Let's do that. Open this. Where's that guy? I haven't done too much navigating around this map or its locations, so I don't really know how to get around very well. Ah, jeez, the stuttering. Hopefully I'll just be able to, uh, you know, eyeball my way around. I kind of remember, obviously, the intro quests that have to be done on the Ground Zeroes map. Can I not step up onto this box? That's very frustrating. Holy crap. Where was he? Whoops. I think I heard him groan. Is he dead? I certainly sprayed enough. Alright, well I can't go any higher up. I don't know, I can't see him. Yeah, the performance is not amazing. I'm hitching a bit with every, um, every sound effect almost. Where are you, dude? And who is he firing at? Sounded like that had some effect. Is that him? Alright, I guess I got him. Oh, there was another too. Um, so I increased, or I installed the increased climb height mod. Can I? Yes, I can. I can vault up there. That's good. Oh, the stuttering. It's not good. That guy's super dead. That's not good either. Alright. Okay. Oh, jeez. I, like, tried to turn, <laughs> and the, um, the stuttering held me in place, and you obviously just saw and heard that. Wow. And quite frankly, it is the reason why I pretty much never play on this map or the streets map. How in the world am I supposed to do anything when the performance tosses my reticle all over the place? And also, it just makes it impossible to make snap decisions and movements. Um, if I want to, like, rapidly do something very subtle and quick, it just doesn't work because the game won't be moving fast enough to understand what I'm doing. It'll get my commands in a delayed fashion and execute them as such as well. And it really seems like there's just infinite angles for death here. Like, if any of the bots are staged up, and watching the open areas, there's no reason to move around whatsoever. I didn't kill this guy. Because it'd be so dangerous. And times like this right here, ah, uh, well, the performance was really smooth for like a second or two. And it kind of went back. Areas of low activity, times of low activity, they're fine. But when just about anything happens, it starts to slow down for me. And of course, my hardware is lacking a bit. Um, I'm behind the curve, certainly. I've got a, um, a 6 gigabyte 2060, and that desperately requires upgrading. So I imagine that those with better systems, more RAM and whatnot, will do better, and they can actually play on this map and streets like it's normal. I myself don't know what that feeling is like, but uh, maybe I will someday. Frankly, I'm hoping that 
I, I don't know. I I'm really hoping that another game in the genre will come around by the time I completely upgrade my PC or get an, an all new PC. And of course that may, you know, change. My prerogatives may change for this YouTube channel, you know, but depending on what I do. But I, I just feel like it'd be more appropriate. And it would be better overall for me as a customer, for the game industry, blah, blah, blah. If, um, I didn't upgrade my PC again to play the same game still. <laughs> as much as I like Tarkov and I love SPT, I am still anticipating more growth. I'm, I'm anticipating more things to happen because I want more and better games. I don't know if I killed this guy, but I'm taking his tags anyway. He did have the 366 VPO, and it's not very badly damaged. Give me that. Let's go ahead and do this right here. And then if I need it, I've got a secondary weapon. I can use it for pot shots at range or violent close combat. Oh god, a terrible, terrible stutter. Look at how long that hung. Wow. I can hear foot. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know. It's, the performance is too bad to have a, a good read on what's happening or even motivation. But there were footsteps over here. Don't know if they were outside or in the building. I'm sure I'll find out too late when I attempt to respond and the performance is so bad that I just die to grisly gunshots. Alright. I think he's in the building. That sound effect came from in here. Over there, or whatever. And there's still more activity in this direction. It sounded like swishing. Are there trees and bushes up there? Well, it's very cool and stylish in here. I like that. I don't particularly play the game all that often to admire the architecture, however. Texture? Is that guy running around out there? I bet I tagged him once. Hmm. Where was that activity that I was hearing? No visual out the window. Wait. That was a flashlight. Okay. Where y'all at? <laughs> Got him. Looks like he had a very awkward fall. I thought I heard more, though. Were there not more with him? Oh, jeez, the the window pops in and out, depending on where I'm turned. Ugh, oh, overall, um, my experience on the Ground Zero map, not so great. But I wanted to demonstrate it, because obviously it's a part of all this. There are tasks to be done, and a boss to fight here. And, uh, it's not great, but I suppose I can run it well enough to accomplish the tasks, but it's not fun, it's not immersive. It's frankly too demanding for my weak little PC, and um, I probably will not continue, or I will continue to not play here very often in version 3.9.3, .3, much like I did in 3.8.3. Hmm, nothing else. Alright, maybe I should think about making my way out of here as my energy and health. <laughs> Hydration, I mean. Uh, energy's kind of low. Let's combat them both with some energy drink. Let's head for the building. This courtyard is wildly dangerous under normal conditions. Wow, look how smooth that is sometimes. It looks so nice when, like, the performance is good, and I'm like, Oh, wow, it's so utopian. It feels so smooth and healthy. There must not be any bots over here. 
Hmm. Just the relaxing sounds of birds calling back and forth amidst the trash and rubble and text that I can't understand. Wait. No, I think I'm I'm hearing like a smoldering fire or something. There's like a fire burning. Never mind, it was just that guy doing what he's doing over there. But that sounds like a fire. Wow. What circumstances? Did you see that guy hop up into the air? So, that's interesting. Let's open the Bepinex, go to the realism mod. And as you'll see here, there's actually a ragdoll fix that's intended to fix that, but I actually caught it on capture. <laughs> where the uh, the bug still occurred, and I'm not using any other ragdoll mods. Obviously, the ragdoll mod itself um, that we were using in version 3.8 is not updated for 3.9. Huh. That was kind of an interesting little circumstance. Alright, I think it's time to leave this map. I've gotten all that I want out of this demonstration. It's time to move on to the last one, and we're going to go to Shoreline next, where I will uh, finish up this video. And see just how things are. I anticipate that the por uh, performance will be better. I think that the gameplay will <laughs> consequently be better. Um, but I always rely on... Oops. There's some toxic gas in here. Hang on just a second. Let's equip the gas mask before going any further. No need to uh, damage myself too thoroughly. Took a little exposure. Not bad. That'll heal up. Alright, and uh, I'm just gonna get on out of here, so everyone join me on the shoreline map. I'm just gonna safely and quietly exfil without any more incidents. Okay, here I am on the shoreline map. May as well take this off for right now. Provided there aren't any gas zones out here along the shore. Which I don't think there will be. Okay, let's go take a look around, finish up today's demonstration. Be sure to let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see demonstrated in 3.9, because I am now all in on it. I was going to stagger my videos so that I was still doing 3.8 projects, but 3.9 is much more stable, much more thorough and capable, and the mods have been so thoroughly improved that I am... Wow, that was a very, very lucky shot. Let's check here for a second. That's on single fire. I didn't check at all to see if this weapon was charged. But uh, this is the AUG with the Hydra mount on top. And uh, also it's the, the um, 300 Blackout variant. So as you can see, I am firing 300 Blackout M62s out of this thing. That's why he crumpled like a wet paper cup when I shot him just now. Our first catch of the day. So, what I'm glad to see right away is that the talk of um, of empty raids and, and bore line <laughs> already is uh, not true for me. Have I ever noticed that that fishing pole is there? I don't think I have. What the hell is that? There's like a... Oh! Oh! What the... What in the world is happening out here? That could very well have gone extremely poorly. Very strange. I don't need to be doing what I'm doing, but I'm out here because I see this thing. Listen, I know everyone probably knows about this, but I have never seen it before, and that's whoa, really funny. Also performance, pretty good. Pretty good so far. Keeping this on single, it's, it's definitely raining, but you know what's weird? I don't see any graphics of the rain. I can hear it, but I don't see it. Is it still broken? I suppose it could be. I don't really know anything about that whole situation. I just remember that for the longest time, due to uh, BSG changing up the weather system, we lost our rain in SPT, and people have been leaving me comments talking about how they want it back. 
And they won't update until they can have rain. But uh, I see that it is foggy over there. It's like it should be raining. If I toggle Amon's, yeah, it becomes much thicker. Hmm. But I don't see anybody. You know what I do see, though? We're about to get an airdrop, which means it's about to get real noisy. Wait, I see him! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ow! Oh, that's not good at all. He had no trouble doing that. Ah! Uh, okay. It says gear is blocking the wound, but it let me do it anyways. That must be a, a weird thing in my settings. Oh, no. Hold on, sir. Hold on, you opened up my belly and it bleed. And I fix... Okay. Switch to full auto just in case the... The blasted airdrop and everything else is reducing my performance. So that's great. The airdrop's actually going to be pretty nearby, which is kind of cool. I'm hoping I'm not getting flanked by that one guy right now, which would be super uncool. And if there are any other guys trying to get me from any other direction, would be also very uncool. This is about half. Let's load. Cresting the hill seems like a very dangerous idea. I have no overwatch. Ah, the peace after the plane is gone. <laughs> yeah, the sound of the rain is prominent, but uh, the look of it, not so much. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's move deeper into the map. Ugh, getting some stuttering. Now, the stuttering itself, not super uncommon on the shoreline map while I'm recording. Obviously, it requires more in the way of resources to be able to record while on any map that's already very demanding. I definitely want to go see what's inside that airdrop. Just hoping that I won't get caught off guard while I'm making my way over to it, and now the rain's getting even heavier. Ah! There are now drops on my screen. So there is at least that graphical representation, but there's no rain falling. So bizarre. Alright, well, let's just find this dang airdrop. There it is, right over there. And uh, get out of here. Bots will go for airdrops. So if there are any nearby, they're going to try for it. Let's see. What kind will it be this time? Oh, cool. A weapons kit. Ah, super water. That's always good to have. I like how there's actually an AUG-4 grip here. <laughs> oh, an MDR. Very nice. AK-102. MP-155. The SR-2. Wow, a spear. Thank you. Oh, boy. Wow, there's some... There's some neat stuff in this one. We'll go ahead and take all that, and all that, and all that, and all that. Thank you very much. 50 BMG makeshift shell. Wow. Got a fresh Glock. Got the Module 3M armor. That's nice. This is a pretty decent drop, my friends. Decent drop. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, look at the textures popping in. So ugly. I want the game to look perfect, but I really need for it to run well, you know? It's just not the best trade-off. Speaking of trades off. Ah, that'll just solve some problems. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Should I wait and watch to see if anybody comes to that airdrop? Oh, the rain is slowing down. Alright, there's always activity at the station. Maybe not always, always, but usually. And, uh, obviously my performance is dipping a little bit, so that tells me there's probably some activity over here. 
But I don't hear anything, and so far I haven't seen anything. So is my performance low just because? The game likes to see me suffer. Yeah, what do you know? It's like nobody here. The game's just chugging because. Oh man, these uh these stutters and hitches are actually pretty bad. Hmm. I wonder why it's so bad on the shoreline map. I haven't changed donuts or sane since the last raid. Nobody here? God, I'd <laughs> will I be able to fight anybody if they are actually are here? I think this may require some additional configuration to get shoreline running well. Yeah, that's bad. Oh man, that's really bad. Whew. Okay, this demonstrates... Wow! What is happening, I wonder? That's super interesting. I don't usually have this much trouble at all on the shoreline map. Could there- whoop, did you see that? There's totally a guy inside, but like, one guy crouching around. Right? Wouldn't do all that. He didn't even do a good job of holding his position. Oh, dorm 11 key. Some max energy, always love that. And aquamarine. Do I have... Yeah, let me eat the Snickers bar. The Slickers bar, sorry. At a low frame rate to restore my energy. And then we're just going to make our way up to the resort. See if the frame rate improves at all. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to bounce on out of here. Let me know what your performance has been like on each of the maps. Um, I've been seeing comments that say that the performance has improved on all maps, and just in general throughout the game, which is encouraging. And I would say that that's uh, been somewhat true <laughs> before I started recording anyway. Um, and that's really the, the, the clincher, you know? Like, under normal circumstances I wouldn't be recording my own game, my own progression or whatever, and I'd just be like, oh, the game is so smooth and it runs so nice. And then if I want to demonstrate or show anything to anybody else, it suddenly becomes that much of a chore. And I'm spending all my stamina running around. I do have the uh, slope and ground type modifiers install or running, rather, in the SPT Realism mod, which affects um, speed and also stamina usage on inclines and over rubble. <laughs> it's more useful for the, uh, the bots to be affected by that than for me, obviously, because I can use it against them. But they can also use it against me, and I have to be ready for that. And because it's a video game still, I'm not always as conscious as I should be of my stamina. After all, this isn't Breath of the Wild with a big, you know, like, neon green depleting circle. Oh god, I'm bleeding. Why is my stomach bleeding? That's never great. Can I use this to deal with that without taking my gear off? I can. I just cut through all my stuff again. Get rid of that. And staple myself together. Staple my clothes to my body. Yeah, that didn't even do anything about it. So let's go over here real quick. Toss that stuff down. Use the AFAC. There we go. Look, I'm bleeding. Wow, he does have a line for that. What do you know? Take that. Is there anybody here that's going to stop my ingress? If there is, it's going to be real easy for him because the stuttering will prevent me from being able to shoot them as well as I need to. And that's always great for me. Alright, let's take a quick look at dynamic maps to see what's going on. Huh, interesting. I expected to see more bots, which would explain my uh, decreased performance. But I suppose it's just how demanding the map is right now, and also my recording it at the same time. So, there's currently one, two, three, four scavs, and one PMC alive. There were certainly more at the beginning of the raid. But uh, that could use some more configuration. I can easily go into the donuts and uh, swag config files to edit what that's like for the shoreline map. And that's what I'll have to do here. Oh man, this performance. Ugh. Okay, let's make our way out of here, if I can. 
I haven't had any more encounters. The uh, bots are still doing what they're doing. I'll just attempt to extract and then take some notes for what configurations I need to make for the next time. Um, I do have a bunch of videos coming out for those configurations because... What? There's a, a lot actually to cover. What? And um, I've done some significant editing to my uh, my donuts files and things. If you'd like to see what those changes are, I already have a bunch of them listed and laid out on my mod list page, my, my Notion link, which will be in the description. You should check that out. There will, of course, as usual, be lots more information on the Club Starvox Discord server. And the uh, SPT pub is still the primary place to go for information. All of those links can be found. Oh my god, I can't even see him. Oh, wow, that was a little bizarre. I know he's like right there. Ha! Yeah, I think that got him. Cool. Well, here's hoping that he was the only Joker hiding around here. Because my ability to respond to him was not amazing. Let's reload, just in case. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay, good. Fantastic. I know I also have the spear. I forgot about it. It's not gonna help me anymore in close quarters. I just have to get out of here, is all. I really appreciate the increased climb height mod. That's been super useful so far. Is this, uh... Oh, no, I have to cooperate with a scab to extract from this one. Crap. All right. Oh! Huh. So he immediately went to cover when I shot him. Didn't know he was there. He was just hiding. Just laying in wait. Wow, that was actually kind of a miraculous shot. I was aiming uh, low, I guess. Yeah, I was like super low. And I caught him on a leg or something maybe? I'm not sure. Like, look how low that shot landed. Is it possible that it ricocheted upward? Obviously his body is like face down, so I, I can't check, but... Wow, that's interesting. Super cool. Alright, listen everybody, I'm just gonna make my way out of here. I don't think there's anybody else nearby. I'm gonna even check the map. Yep. Nobody else. I'm just gonna have to make my way to an extract to get out of here. But uh, tell me what you think about version 3.9.3 so far. Let me know if you're having any trouble maintaining your archives. I know a lot of people are trying to stick around with the 3.8 family SPT versions. Um, are you missing anything in particular? I, I already said what I was missing. I'm definitely waiting excitedly for my list of mods to catch up. There's only a few left. Like I said, I'm waiting for the Ragdoll mod, Simple Crosshair, Modular Attachments, Meow Shader, and RGB Lasers, and hopefully they'll show up pretty soon. Maybe not all of them. Um, we haven't heard any buzz at all about Meow Shader being updated, but several of these other mods have indeed. Oh, also all the clothes. I'm still waiting for that mod, and I did see that the developer said um, in a comment that they're still working on that, and it won't be very long for that to come out, and I'm excited for that to happen. So, let me know, like I said in the comments below, how things are going. You'll see me very soon with another video, because I've got a lot to show and a lot to talk about. Everybody have a good time out there, and I'll see you very soon.